our global senior presentation by Jessica, Elijah, and Alexa. Um, DAC started off with a rough start. Um, over the years, we were, we were able to find the kinks in our company that we needed to improve, improve on. DAC was able to increase pricing and modify our strategy thinking, which helped us see improvement in our numbers. Um, we, did, we did come off with a slow start, especially in year six. Um, and throughout the years, we, did, we were able to um, increase all of our pricing, our image rating, um, our return on equity, equity and things like that. Um, earnings per share. Um, yeah, as you can see in the chart above, um, we had 33% in year six. Um, in year seven, we were able to come up just a little bit. Um, our biggest increase was here in year 11, where we had 6.65. Um, and throughout the years after that, we were managed to maintain and keep increasing our earnings per share. Um, by doing that, we were able to increase our pricing over the years, maybe by 10, 15, 20. Um, and we've seen an increase with our earnings per share as we did that. Um, our credit rating, as you can see, year five, we looked okay. Year six, we, we dropped um, to C+. Plus. I'm not understanding, you know, how that drop came, but we we made a big change here from year six to year seven. Um, and it, as you can see, according to our graph from year eight on to 10, we were pretty steady um, on how our image rate, our credit rating um, continued to maintain. And the year 11 through 14, we were just steady throughout then. Um, we did have our last in year 14, um, our credit rating, I believe, was at 83, um, which was our highest. And here we are with our return on equity. Um, as you can see, year six, again, has been our rough year throughout the years, all the way up until 14. From year 11 to 14 is where we had our biggest increase um, in understanding how our return on equity affects our whole business plan. Um, and we were able to kind of finagle and see why that change, you know, how that change helped our return on equity by just making little adjustments each year. So starting in year six for our um, image rating, we had a competing image rating as well as in year seven. After year eight, our competitor, uh, Action Captured video, video, had the best image rating in the industry, and we struggled to keep up from year eight until year 13, where we raised our score to seven points from the year before. We uh, still are not the strongest in the category, but we plan to continue to increase our image rating and surpass Action Captured video. Um, for our camera strategy, uh, we charge different amounts based on the demand per region while offering the same amount discount in the same time frame at all 16 weeks and 20% discount. We spent more on advertising in the most popular region, which was North America for 2000 in website displays compared to 1500 in all other regions. Um, for our drones, we had a similar approach in changing more in regions with more demand with a slight difference when it comes to advertising. We charged more in search engine advertising for North America and Europe and Africa regions rather than um, Latin America and Asia Pacific um, for production strategy. Originally, we lacked in our production strategy, and after reevaluating in year 11, we had a significant improvement, um, which improved all working conditions for the people who make this company successful, our employees. The changes we made not only helped our employees, but also helped our competitors image rating our company's image rating. So upper management and employees both benefit from this change. And then onto our finance strategy. We um, want to continue to raise our R&D expenditures to help further advance our products, um, continue to raise bonuses, as well as continuing to grow revenues so we can invest more in advertising. So um, looking to our future, we are considering our strongest competitors. And for our camera, the strongest competitor is currently Team A. Um, we both have warranty periods that are 16 weeks long. So we will see a lot of similarities between Team A and ourselves. 
Um, however, we do have a little bit of a competitive edge with our product quality rating. Um, our, theirs is at 6.2 and ours is at six um, right now. I'm sorry, my my bad right there. And then the models, we both offer three models currently. Um, other companies in the market are offering more um, models. And so we're wishing to stick to just three right now. Um, the strongest competitor for the drone right now is Team C. Um, they are offering a much longer warranty period than DAC is um, able to right now. Uh, their product quality rating is sitting at a 5.0 and DAC is at a 5.2, so we feel great about that. And then the brand reputation, DAC has been working really hard to rebuild our brand reputation back up from the early years that we were making bad decisions. Um, but Team C is at a 73 and we are at a 75 right now, so we feel good about that as well. Out competing the others um, for the camera, some things that we plan to do and have already kind of started implementing was um, longer warranty periods. As long as soon as we can afford to extend our current one, we are going to do that. We also want to continue to offer better promotions, um, longer promotion periods. That is something that we definitely have been trying to work on. And as soon as we can afford it in our funding, um, we will definitely implement that. We definitely want to put more money into marketing in the future, help get our new rebrand um, and re build back out there and kind of like, you know, a second chance for us. We're going to continue to improve the camera features as that is some of the things that are setting us apart from our competitors that are neck and neck with us. And then as always, we want to continue to improve our product quality and the process that's going into um, creating our cameras. So for us to out-competing um, out the others in the drones category, um, we see we have a, a little bit of wiggle room for pricing um, to set us apart from our competitors. We definitely want to put more funds into marketing as well and just getting our rebrand and rebuild um, known and out there. We want to start winning those um, promotion bids, so we're going to keep going all out on those. We keep coming in second on those, so we're hoping that in the future we can take first place and get those offers. Um, we're going to increase our research and development funding for drones, and we also want to increase the promotion periods and improve those warranty periods as well. So our market matchups right now, Team A and Team C are who we talked about um, as our biggest competitors. Here's the pricing matchup, which is what I spoke about. We want to um, ha we have a little bit of wiggle room there as far as the drones, so we want to increase that and hopefully see some more money on earnings per share. Um, our cameras are kind of really, as you can see, neck and neck, but we're where we want to be. When we first started in the early years, we were way off of pricing on everyone else. We've kind of worked our way back in there, and now we're falling in between Team A and Team C, so we feel good about that. Some lessons that we learned um, in the first 14 years of business is the spending habits. They have changed drastically from the first early years to now. Um, we're definitely reinvesting in stock. We're repurchasing stock. We're putting money into research and development. We're kind of, you know, we understand that you got to spend the money to make the money. Um, that was a detrimental decision we had in the earlier years. We weren't spending all the money that we had. So we weren't using all the resources that were available and we were seeing that reflected in our numbers. And we also want to continue to keep our um, company and our group on the same page and prioritizing our mission statement and not straying away from that um, with decisions like going green and um, using different materials for our products so that we can stay in that price range that keeps us neck and neck with our competitors. <clears throat> the last slide, Jessica. So DAC's strategic, strategic vision statement is to, con to continue to rebuild and work towards having a brand that is known for having ethical behaviors towards our environment, products, and our employees. And that's it.